Welcome to 5 Minutes VHDL Podcast, the podcast where we talk about VHDL and hardware design. In this episode, I want to introduce the iterative structure in VHDL, iterative statement. When you have to repeat some piece of code, you can use the iterative statement. But you have to pay attention because the iterative statement in VHDL are not equal to the iterative statement in the, in the normal software languages. Uh, we will see a lot of, of examples in, uh, in the future. By now, I want to introduce the, um, the syntax of the iterative statement. Uh, there are two, uh, two kinds of iterative statement, for and while. If you, if you are familiar with the software language, I don't know. I, I think it is um, very simple to understand. Anyway, the for loop statement loops on knowing iteration. The while loop runs on unknown iteration. In the Telegram channel, you can see a simple example of for loop and while loop. You can label the loop. In this case, the for loop is a my label comma for index in a range. Loop, that is a keyword, for is a keyword, VHDL keyword, and you can put the statement. And then close the loop with end loop keyword label. The while is very simple, but there is a condition instead of a range. For example, in the second picture, you can see an example of uh, a filter. The filter is a sum of product. In this case, we use the variable ACC, that is a type of integer. Mm, you can uh, initialize ACC comma equal zero and then perform the classical filter, um, it, uh, the classical filter equation. Accumulator equal uh, accumulator plus xi by hi. A second example is a parity check. In this case, we use the, uh, the variable par of type of standard logic, initialize par equal to zero, and perform a loop of, uh, of XOR. In this example, we, we can see that in the, in the for loop, uh, we use the, the attribute length to indicate that we have to perform the loop from zero to the entire length of the standard logic vector. In the third example, uh, we use a signal square of type square that is an array of integer, and we perform the square of i on each element of the array. You can notice that in this case, square can be an object signal and not variable but we can use also variable in the previous two example we cannot use signal because the signal inside a process is scheduled so if you use a signal uh, for for instance to to perform a, um, the, the the filter on the first example so if ac was a signal the mm, the assignment the assignment uh, inside the loop takes the value only the last value of ACK, not all the, the value, the, the 10 values of, um, of the loop. Maybe uh, in this case uh, you cannot follow me, <laughs> but in the future we will see some example to understand better this, um, uh, this concept. So... This was a, um, an episode to introduce the, the syntax of, uh, of the iterative statement in VHDL. We will see some, some examples, some dedicated example in, in, the, in the next episode. If you have any question, please contact me using the contact in the episode description. And see you soon. Ciao.